Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the bookshelf scavenger hunt. So this was created by the Library of Sarah. It's not technically a tag, but I'm going to do it like a tag. Basically, there are a list of things to find on your bookshelves. You go through, you do them one after another, and then, yeah, at the end, I'm going to tag three people. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, I was going to start doing this, and I got about three questions in, and you'll find out why in a minute. Basically, I got really annoyed with this, and I think you could tell in the footage that I was pissed off. So, I've started again. So, before I was going to do it on a timer and see how quickly I could do it. But basically, I got to question three, and I had no answer for that. So, I spent 20 minutes looking for a book, and there was none. So, that kind of screwed the whole timer element. So, now we're just going to find stuff. Whatever, let's just go. Question one. Find an author's name or title with a letter Z in it. Benjamin Zephaniah, and this is Terror Kid. It's actually not a particularly good book. Zephaniah isn't an amazing writer. He's one of those writers where the story behind him is better than his actual writing. But uh, yeah, he's got a Z in it. Question number two, find a classic. Herman Melville, Moby Dick, there we go. Question number three, this is the stupid one. Find a book with a key on it. So yeah, I apparently out of my 1500 or so books, not a single one of those has got a key on the cover. And that took me ages, and I resent this question. Question number four, find something on your bookshelf that's not a book. I have board games on the top of that book bookcase, and I have some cards on there. But it's not on my bookshelf, it's on my bookcase. On my bookshelves, I only have books. I never understand why people put stuff that isn't books on bookshelves, like... How do they have the space available to waste it by not using books? <laughs> Alright, question number five. Find the oldest book on your shelf. Oh God, I did a video on this recently. Okay, so I did the old books tag recently and for that I found this one which is Chinese Poems by Arthur Whaley. And this is a, it's still about 1930 or something it was printed. So uh, 1949 I think, it's not super old, and I'm sure I do have older books, but I'm, again, I'm not going through 1500 books and checking the copyright pages on each of them. <laughs> Which, what do you, you think I am? <laughs> Alright, question number six, find a book with a girl on the cover. Neil Gaiman, Stardust, there are several girls on this cover, although I wouldn't call them girls, I would call them women, but whatever. Question number seven, find a book that has an animal in it. Here we go, this one's on the floor for me. Cats Behaving Badly by Celia Haddon. Question number eight, find a book with a male protagonist. Yeah, this one's on the floor. I'm not even bothering to go to my bookcase now. These are some I haven't put away yet. This is Going Postal by Terry Pratchett. And the male protagonist here would be Moist Von Lipwig. Question number nine, find a book with only words on it popped straight into my head when I saw that question and that is you are a little bit happier than I am by Tao Lin. Question number 10, find a book with illustrations in it. Right. Roll Dahl, The Complete Adventures of Charlie and Mr. Willy Wonka, which is of course Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and then Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. And here is a picture of Mr. Wonka just wonking along. I uh, legitimately am suffering for my art. Look, I cut my finger trying to get one of the books out. Question number 11, find a book with gold lettering. Uh, Philip Pullman, The Book of Dust, La Belle Sauvage. I'm gonna start this tomorrow, I'm excited about this. Question number 12, find a diary, true or fictional. Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl, and uh, I guess this is but yeah, this is the Penguin Reader's version of Anne Frank's diary. Question number 13. Find a book written by someone with a common name. I feel like this author has a common first name and surname, and this is Charlotte Street by Danny Wallace. Question number 14. Find a book that has a close-up of something on it. I'll go for Irvin Welsh, If You Liked School, You'll Love Work, because that's a close-up of a little Sabutio man, and if you've ever played Sabutio, you know those figures are about this big. Question number 15. Find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. The Crispin, The Hut Gambit, and the reason I picked this one is because this is a Star Wars book, and as we all know, that happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Question number 16. Find a hardcover book without a jacket. I feel like this one, this one probably never had a jacket, but this is a really old copy of Rodney Stone by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This has actually got a signature in it, look, some guy wrote in it. Look at the date on this, Marfar, let me see. 
Question number 16, find a teal slash turquoise coloured book. I'm pretty sure at least one of the various shades of blue and purples on this has got to be teal or what was it? <laughs> teal or turquoise. Anyway, this is The Caves of Steel by Isaac Asimov. A little bit of classic sci-fi, why not? Question number 18, I think. Find a book with stars on it. Alright, this is one that I got sent and this is Andrew Zercher, 12 Nights. I literally have no idea what this is about. Uh, this is one of those uh, things where a publisher just sent me a copy of this book with no explanation and, and they didn't query or anything. So I don't even know if I'm going to read it, but it does have a very pretty cover. Awful reviews on Goodreads though. <laughs> and question number 19. Find a non-YA book. I mean, any book. This is In-Person World Poets, filmed and edited by Pamela Robertson Pierce and Neil Astley. I remember this actually, this comes with six uh, DVDs as well, so as well as reading all the poems, you can actually see all of them being performed by the poets. Which... Anyway, ah, that's it. Actually, I didn't do as bad as I thought, apart from the whole debacle of the 20 minutes wasted looking for a book with a bloody key on the cover. That was pretty fun. <laughs> so now it's time to tag people, and I'm going to tag Todd the Librarian, Kit Kats Can Read, and Chrissy Books and Berries. Good luck finding all of these things in your messy room, Todd. <laughs> anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment to let me know what you think of these books and my, I guess, half assed effort at trying to do this. And uh, yeah, please do hit subscribe for more bookish videos and I will see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.